At least 30 people have been killed after an express train partly derailed in southern Pakistan. More than 100 passengers were injured near the city of Nawab Shah. Caroline Davis reports. Twisted, contorted and thrown off the tracks. Derailed so violently, some carriages flipped on their side. Inside were passengers travelling from Karachi to Ralpindi. Locals arrived before the army and rescue services. I was sitting in my shop. Suddenly, there was a huge bang. We are all stunned. We immediately thought an accident had taken place. We started running and when we arrived here, we saw the train accident had happened. We pulled our bodies and wounded people from the wreckage. Passers-by clambered over wreckage, carefully guiding survivors out through windows and down over mangled metal. Other passengers did not walk away. Local hospitals declared an emergency as tens of injured began arriving. Some were treated outside and the dead began to be counted. Losing the light, the rescue teams began removing the train from the tracks. The cause of this disaster is not yet clear. Based on initial investigation, it doesn't seem like the incident was caused by sabotage or terrorism. It's more likely that it was due to a technical problem, which the railway will look into thoroughly to prevent similar accidents in the future. Local police have told the BBC that this was not due to flooding on the tracks, contrary to local media reports, leaving the question, what caused this disaster? And could such a loss of life have been avoided? Caroline Davis, BBC News, Islamabad.